you can never have too many calculators. I just purchased a box of calculators in my area and uh, hopefully I'm gonna get lucky. So I only paid $25, <laughs> so that is a really good deal. Even if I, I can get one working, I haven't seen any of the calculators just yet. I just seen the pictures and uh, he has a uh, 284, one is silver edition, so that is really nice. And uh, yeah, so when it comes to Texas Instrument calculators, uh, at least the ones from uh, uh, mid-2000 or early 2000, these were the only two I was missing uh, in my collection. I, uh, I think I'm also missing uh, the regular 83, so there is that. This really isn't a calculator, I don't even know what this is, but I'll probably figure it out <laughs> later on. But uh, I'm probably not gonna, I don't know, I'm probably just gonna put some batteries in it, see if it's going to work at all. It looks like uh, some kind of device uh, uh, companies like a uh, Walmart will use, something like that. But I have no idea what this does, to be honest. Okay. So, yeah, so you have the two, uh, 84 here. If I can get these two to work, then uh, I already got my money worth it. Okay, so these two, 84. And, okay. This is another Texas instrument. This is the solar, uh, the solar model, 84 multi-view. Okay, nice scientific calculator. Okay, we got more of those. Okay, nice, nice. This is a nice one. Does this even belong to, okay. Yeah, so we have several scientific ones. Nice. I uh, I see this, I see these a lot, like uh, the TI-30XX, the, the solo model, I see, I see these a lot online you know for sale but i never really was interested in buying any because i don't really uh scientific calculators are not really uh, my thing it's mainly graphing calculators and specifically uh graphing calculators with uh, the computer algebra system in them i just dropped my toolkit okay so we have uh one two three four five calculators and uh this uh, thing right here okay so i'm gonna use this for uh this is going to be the thumbnail looks like a cool one isn't it Okay, so now I already got some batteries here. Okay, already opened those. So I'm gonna start with. Uh, so visually, they all seem to be in uh, fair condition, but I'm already seeing uh, like a dark spot on the screen here. So that is not that's never a good sign. <laughs> okay, so this is also never a good sign. Buying calculators that won't turn on and uh, at the same time they have batteries inside of them you know the one of the biggest uh uh enemy of calculators is uh, corrosion you know because sometimes corrosion can get so bad that uh, the calculator is uh, repairable so i'm gonna take these batteries out and uh this won't come on at all so hopefully it's just a battery issue i'm i'm still going to open it up anyways because you know, there might be uh, some corrosion uh, on the inside. And uh, so this is the first one. Okay, so this uh, works right up. Right on. This is uh, really nice. I'm very happy that this works. But I'm still going to uh, uh, open it up regardless because I've never been inside one of these. But it shouldn't be really hard. It should be the same, uh, the same way you would take uh, part uh, at 89 titanium, I believe. I think this has uh, the same, uh, I could be wrong, but I think the back plate or the back cover should be the same as uh, the TI-89 titanium. I know for, for sure that uh, the, back, the battery cover would fit uh, uh, 89 titanium, so we'll see. So this is the first one. So I'm just gonna go to home and just make sure all the keys are working. Okay. So one thing about the TI-84 uh, that most people don't know, that let's say you, uh, you just hit clear by mistake and you just got rid of everything you had on the stack. What you can do, you can just press the up key and it's gonna bring them back. So they really aren't gone uh, forever. But if you have uh, the, uh, if you have uh, like an expression highlighted or a calculation highlighted like here, like so, and you press clear, it's gonna clear that one and it's gonna keep clearing it. But if you are just in the home, if uh, you see this cursor blinking and you press clear by mistake, you can just uh, go up and retrieve uh, your stuff. Okay, so that is really working. Let's uh, do a quick graph. Okay, let's just graph seven. Y is equal to seven. <laughs> okay, enter. Nice. So this one really works. Uh, this one wor works really well. Okay, I believe when I first uh, turn it off, I mean turn it on. 
Okay, so you can uh, continue or just do not show again. I kind of like this a little, <laughs> this little window, so I'm just gonna continue. So let's see, let's go to a uh, memory and I check the OS. So the OS, this is the latest OS, I believe, 2.55. I'm not really sure what MP stands for. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not too sure. Okay, so this is Silver Edition, that works. So that is great. Okay, so let's take the batteries out and take this apart and see what is inside. Okay, so I've removed all the screws. So this one, just like uh, other Texas instrument calculators, or most of them really, the 89 titanium, the 89, or even the 83 plus, uh, you just need a, a Torx uh, 6 uh, screwdriver. And it's got six in total, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this one just use a, a standard Phillips uh, drives. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this one. I think I'll remove, unscrew it. Let's see. Okay, so that's where the backup batteries is. So you shouldn't have to take out the batter, the backup batteries, but uh, what I like to do since I've never been inside of these calculators, I always like to take it out. I doubt there, there's going to be a screw underneath of it, but uh, just to make sure, because sometimes there may be screws in here, you know, on a separate, on a, on a different calculator that I had to work on before. I believe it was a Casio calculator. So yeah, so there's that. So once you have all the screw removed, uh, just uh, get yourself uh, like uh, something uh, like this, like a prior tool, and uh, slide it inside the calculator. It's gotta be thin enough though, okay? So this one, it's kinda hard to do this behind the camera, but I've done this uh, many, many times. Just uh, find your way inside of the calculator. Okay, let me just uh, do, quickly do this behind the camera. Okay, once I have it inserted, I'm just gonna show you. Okay, so I just gotta insert it just uh, slightly, and then uh, you're just gonna press this down as you walk your way around it, the calculator. See, just gonna press it down like that. Just press it down. Okay, there you go, nice and gently, okay, just like that, and uh, do this uh, for both sides, you can do it at the bottom if you want to, okay, like I said, it's kind of hard to just bind the camera, so let me just insert my prior tool here. Especially if a calculator has never been opened before, so the first time might be a little bit challenging. But once you have inside, just uh, press this down a little as you walk your way around it. There you go, that's it. So it comes out uh, right off. You can lift this up. And uh, the inside looks uh, really good as well. So there really isn't uh, any corrosion going on. You know, just some uh, minor dirt. That's about it, really. Okay. So there isn't any cable hanging up, so that is good. So this is exactly like uh, the, you know, like the 80, 84, I mean, I mean the 89 titanium, really. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this. Uh, I think this is for static. So I'm gonna remove, uh, it should be uh, just uh, these two, and then uh, I can remove uh, the static cover, static protection. All right, so I'm gonna set this uh, aside. And there are four more screws here. One, two, three, four. Something I would like to mention is that, uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny, but on the TI-89 titanium and the regular 89, these two, the one at the top here, are not even. So I think this one, the one on, on this side is going to be slightly up. Anyways, let's uh, take them out. Okay, so I remove uh, all the six screws here. And uh, just so you know, they all are the, they are the same size, you know, so you don't have to worry about mixing those screws, and uh, you also just need a, a regular size Philip. I, I usually use a Philip uh, Philips and number zero drive. So once you have uh, all the screws removed, you can uh, just uh, you know press a little bit against the display. I seen a viewer say that uh, you should never press against the display, but it's not really. Uh, it's not like I'm pressing against. I'm just pushing it. Really, it's not really. Uh, it's nothing. You know, there is literally nothing wrong with it. It's just literally. You know, just assisting yourself, you know, by using this, just uh, push it. You know, it's just gonna come right off, okay? And once again, it looks, everything looks intact. Okay, I'm gonna remove uh, this. And when you remove this, just make sure the, uh, okay. So I'm really happy to see this. So this is like the 83, I mean the 89 titanium. That means the keys actually sit on top of, uh, like they get, they, they stick to this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, plastic cover right here, this uh, plastic thing, okay, they rest on top of it, you know, there's like a, uh, like a, a kind of a mechanism, 
that uh, keep the keys uh, in place, which is something you don't have uh, with the uh, 80, uh, 83 plus or even the 89. You, so this is something with the uh, 89 titanium, apparently the 84 uh, Texas instrument calculators and also the Voyage, okay? So that way, if you drop it, then, uh, or if you, you know, you drop it like this, then you're not gonna lose all your keys. So that is really nice, okay? So this is quite dirty. There is a lot of dust here. So I'm gonna have to clean this up because, you know, I might as well just do it now while I can. So I'm probably just going to, I'm gonna take all these keys out, just clean this up a little bit. And uh, I think that's really it. And there really isn't any much corrosion going on here. You know, this is absolutely normal. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm, uh, you know, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be that hard, you know. I wish I didn't have to do it. I don't even know if I need to remove the keys. Yeah, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It's, it's gonna be time consuming, but uh, you know, I might as well just do it. Okay, so I just thought it would be interesting to show you this part. So what I did essentially was, uh, you know, I, uh, you know, put some soap on it and uh, put it in this container and use uh, some water pressure, you know, to uh, wash it or to rinse it. I didn't remove all the keys. They're probably gonna be sitting in here. So I'm gonna leave in here for like, you know, just a couple of minutes. Then I'm gonna take it out, rinse it, and uh, put it outside for it to dry. So yeah, <laughs> you know, and since I'm at it, I figure I might as well just, uh, you know, uh, wash this as well, clean it, and uh, you, know, <laughs> you know, it wouldn't hurt. So I'm probably just gonna show this once, and uh, for the other ones, I'm just gonna open them up, and uh, you know, uh, to see the inside of it. But uh, this is the only time I'm gonna be show uh, showing uh, how to wash these. It's me again. So before I forget, so apparently you can remove this faceplate. So that is really nice. I wish uh, they had this uh, with the, uh, uh, or I wish uh, they had something similar uh, for the uh, 89 Titanium or even the Inspire. So this is really nice. You can remove this, you know, or replace it with a different color. So that is really nice, you know. And uh, yeah, so now you know. Okay, so just, just so you know, I also wash uh, the uh, rest of the case, like the back cover. And uh, you also need to be really careful. So when, when the reason why I wanted to open this up is just to see if uh, there was any corrosion in, on the inside. And uh, there were like, uh, you know, some uh, minor uh, dust or some slight corrosion. It's really hard to make it up without like a magnif magnifier. But, uh, you know, if you see anything that shouldn't be here, like some kind of dirt or some kind of a uh, bluish thing stuff going on, just uh, be really gentle and uh, try to remove it, especially over here. So this is the display cable. So if you're not careful, you can very easily, you know, damage this display. And if it gets damaged, then uh, that's it. The whole calculator just becomes uh, a waste because you there's no way you can fix the displays on these calculators. Okay. So yeah, that is that. Okay, so now let's move on to the second one. Uh, you know, I'm only excited about these, the 84. Okay, so this one also has some batteries in it. And uh, again, I can see some corrosion and it's slightly more severe in here than it was on the first one. Okay, so again, if you, are, if you know for sure that you are not going to use your calculator for a long time, for like a couple of months, you know, just make sure you take uh, the batteries out. If it's just a month or two, you can leave them in, but you know, even that, you know, just uh, take it up. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this one regardless, but I just wanna make sure, you know, it works first before I take it apart. Okay, right on. Good, good, good. So this one didn't even uh, reset, so that could be because the backup battery is still working which is unusual, <laughs> you know, like uh, the first, when I first uh, started the first one, he, uh, you know, he, he got reset because I'm assuming the backup battery died, but this one didn't do that. <laughs> this is my first time seeing this, actually. Does this mean that, uh, <laughs> is this a custom a firmware? Okay, so as you can see, so some keys are kind of, uh, uh, you know, pretty much invisible. You cannot make out uh, the numbers on these keys. 
Wow, so that means this one was really heavily used or the person who used used it, you know, had uh, oil fingers or some kind of, you know, some kind of chemical that made that made uh, these keys uh, uh, I, I I don't I don't know, invisible or worn out. Okay, so I don't know why this is could it be because I don't know. I'm not sure. This is my first time seeing an 84 do this, so I'm just gonna check the memory, see what kind of software it is running. Okay, so this one is a uh, software 2.40. Is that even official? I wouldn't know. So that's something I'm gonna have to check. Okay, so adjust the brightness. Go back to home, browse. Uh, okay, maybe here change this. I have no idea why it's doing this. Honestly, I have no idea. Okay. Somebody, if some, someone in the comment section knows, uh, let me go to mod first. I always want to be in Radian. <laughs> and uh, plot, start plots. Let me check this one. I don't know what that does. Okay. Window. Okay, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take out this backup battery. I'm going to take this out and also take out the backup battery. See if that is going to reset it. I could reset it manually, but, uh, you know, I just want to see if the backup battery works. So if the calculator uh, gets reset, that means uh, it works. If not, then uh, I don't know. Maybe it hasn't been dead for a long time. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the backup battery is dead. I don't know why he's doing this, but usually, or maybe he hasn't been. The batteries haven't been out for a long time. Okay, so you see, it's uh, okay. So you say RAM clear. So uh, definitely, that means the backup battery is working. I think. Okay, so I guess it was just some kind of setting. <laughs> okay, that is good to know. So this one is working perfectly fine as well. If I press against it, the corrosion is not affecting it in any way. So I'm going to turn it off and uh, open this up as well. Okay, so yeah, that should be fairly quick. Oh, okay, so just like the previous one, you know, this comes off the same exact way. Same amount of screws. Okay, I forgot one. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay, so yeah, this is what it is. So as you can see, this one is uh, you know slightly dirty on the inside, which is uh, perfectly normal. Nothing bad, just uh, you know some minor corrosion here, some battery acid. Ah, uh, for the most part, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna take this part, this uh, this one apart as well. Okay, so something I wanted to point out is uh, you see this uh, plastic right here. It is uh, covering the display cables. That is something the uh, the first one didn't have, which I don't understand. You know, these companies just have a. Uh, they have so many ways of cutting corners, even though they actually came out like at uh, the same time, like around the same time. This, the uh, Silver Edition, and even the 89 Titanium, they all came out in 2004, June of 2004, June 1st. So that is interesting. Interesting. Okay, so I remove all the stuff. So I'm just going to push against the display, take it out. And this one is uh, perfect too, you know, no, nothing bad going on here. So yeah, I'm probably, I'm going to clean this up as well. And let's move on to the second one. I mean, next one. And also this plastic cup, this plastic right here, this is where the keys uh, uh, sit on. They are actually separated, you know, not not completely, but you can see uh, there is some kind, of, there is some kind of line here, you know. So I that that was uh, also interesting. All right, next one. So this is going to be next because these don't take uh, AAA batteries, and uh, unfortunately don't have. Oh, never mind. So these are solar. So I, I don't know. <laughs> There's almost no sound here, so I don't know if I put this, uh, if I put them on outside, it's going to work. So I'm just going to do that and see if, uh, if that's going to help a little bit. Okay, so silly me. <laughs> I didn't even have to put them outside. I didn't even try to turn them on in on the, on the first place. So if you turn them on, they work just fine. So I'll try all of them. So they're all working just fine. I don't know if you cover this one, if it's going to uh, go off, but apparently it doesn't. So that is good. I got. I have one that if you cover this uh, power of the calculator, it's just gonna turn off by itself. So this is really nice, and this one has oh nice, yeah. Oh, I'm probably gonna make a review about this one. So I like this one very much. I think I like this one the most because it has uh, the biggest display. I think. 
uh this one you know one might think that the the 34 might be a little fancier it could be but i honestly don't know because i really don't know anything about scientific calculators you know especially with texas instrument uh having a you know a bigger number does not necessarily mean that uh it is uh, better it could be even older but uh, you never know okay so i'm probably gonna give uh, these two a try you know i like the display on this one slightly better because uh, this one seems a little bit dimmer but yeah okay uh the third third one everything is working just fine i'm really happy man <laughs> wow i think this is the best deal of the year so far okay so this is the last one i don't really care for this one so i'm not even gonna pause the video <laughs> uh oh damn this has like six different batteries two wow go figure wow that is crazy so I don't even know what this is for. Again, if any of you uh, know what this does, then uh, feel free to put it in the comment section so I can learn. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna need some more batteries then. So let's uh, put these first. <clears throat> you know, maybe it's gonna work with four, you never know. Four, I gotta fit one right here. Okay, let me grab uh, the last one. Okay, I put uh, the last one in. Let's see. Okay, no action going on. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, what does it say? Ted Almond. Oh, I think I know what this is. This is like a, like a portable printer. You see this one? This is like a, like a car cartridge? No. Nah black and white huh but whatever it is it might be missing some some odd some component and it has a like a is this like a like a charging like dc charging port now now it takes nine volts huh interesting and uh does this open okay it does uh oh, I dropped my screws. So yeah, this is definitely like a like a car like a like a cartridge. And there seems to be something inside as well. Uh oh, shoot! That that scared this heck out of me. What did I just do? Okay, let me put this back. Okay, so when you put it back. It's gonna authenticate. Okay. Okay, so you have to long press it so uh, to avoid accident accidental uh you know turning on. <laughs> okay, so I'm probably gonna okay, language, everything should be fine. Okay. What if I start I just start typing? Go back, go back, go back. These are the size I would assume. Let's pick out uh, the smallest one. <laughs> See if uh, Okay. Oh, heck. Damn. <laughs> Woo. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. You know what I can use this for? Oh man, I'm so excited about this one. So you know what I can use this for? Okay, so now how this come off? <laughs> wow. This is literally the best purchase I've made so far this year. I swear to God. Oh man, this is dead working. Uh, okay, so that's me. Let me just, uh, got it. Okay, I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna use this for. Exact. This is something that I didn't even know I, I needed. Damn. Okay. Let's see. It's almost done. Anytime now. Anytime now. Boom. TI84 Plus. Purchase on blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's it. That's what I'm gonna do it for. 
So I'm gonna label all my calculators. Every single calculator I'm gonna purchase from now on, I'm gonna label every single of them. And I'm gonna uh, label them in a way that uh, the label just cannot come off uh, easily. So I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna put it like uh, on this uh, 89 here, I'm probably gonna put the label like on the top here, you know. So yeah, this is unbelievably like handy. Wow, I'm so happy, bro. Oof. All right, all right, all right. So I guess I just need to purchase, uh, you know, some more, uh, some more paper. <laughs> wow. Well, I guess uh, that's it for this video. This was really, uh, this was really interesting. This is probably by far the best, the best uh, calculator purchase I've made uh, this year. I can't think of any other good, any better deal that I've got so far this year. Might be maybe the HP 48G2 that I spent. No, 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 it's not, not even that one. I actually purchased uh, a Texas Instrument, a TI-89 for, uh, for $3. And I spent uh, only $5 for the shipping. You know, it was uh, listed for part. I just opened it up, just cleaned it up a little bit, and uh, he worked again. All right, so if you have any questions, just make sure you put it in the comment section.